All right, everybody, today we're going to be reviewing and unboxing the new Star Wars Retro Collection Return of the Jedi Wave. So I've been looking forward to this wave for a long time, so I'm glad to finally have it in hand. A um, couple things to note with this set. So they do come with the uh, 40th anniversary logo up top for the Return of the Jedi. I believe this is the first one of these I've seen uh, come out. Um, the other thing to note, unfortunately, is that the card backs on this wave are really flimsy. So they're kind of in line with the other, um, the other waves we've seen. Other than the box set of the original six that were the heavier card stock, these kind of go back to how they were. So time will tell if, if the uh, newer waves coming out will be the thicker card stock or not. But um, we'll go ahead and get started. Let's open up Princess Leia Organa in her Bausch uh, disguise first. All right, so here we have Princess Leia. Um, now this is actually um, one of a couple figures out of this wave that I do not have the vintage version of, so I cannot do a side-by-side -side comparison, um, but I do think that this character looks really good. So she obviously you know, has her removable helmet. Fits on there nice and snug. It's not going anywhere. Um, this is just such a cool figure in and of itself. So. I think the likeness is good. Just got this gigantic blaster. I'm not even sure how she's supposed to hold this. So, I know. She can hold it like that. Or I suppose. She can hold that thing like that as well. So, it is nice. It does fit in there snugly. Um, it's not falling out. So, figure number one looks pretty good. Also, just the card back art. So, again, um, you know, it's going to be the identical to all the other versions of this character. I think it looks pretty nice, um, weathering around the edges aside. But, yeah. Start on the other side. Next up, we have Lando Calrissian in his skiff guard um, disguise. So again, card back art is just him in Java's palace, and uh, another removable helmet on this figure. So let's open him up. All right, so Lando, looking pretty sharp here. Um, in his skiff guard disguise so again you know and actually this is another figure that i don't have so i always kind of thought that this helmet was more of a soft plastic for whatever reason i'm not sure why i thought that um, but it is rigid same with um leia's bausch helmet so this one fits on doesn't fit on great um you know you want the eyes exposed i guess that's okay can see him in there. And then again, another really cool weapon. This is like some sort of axe or something. Yeah, he looks pretty sharp as well. So again, you know, um, these first two figures probably wouldn't have been the ones I chose. I like the um, Endor Leia a little better. I know they probably have to, you know, they got to throw in a Leia and a Lando. Um, as well as obviously Luke and Han into each wave, but um, you know this one may have been one I skipped um, in preference for something else. But I do actually really like this figure. I think that um, now I just want to get all of Jabba's palace figures and get it set up. But this one looks pretty cool. Next up, we'll do the Emperor. Again, nice looking card back. We'll open them up. All right, so here's the Emperor. And, you know, this is a, a figure that, just the original um, of it that was made back in the 80s, you know, it really just doesn't 
knock my socks off or anything like that. It's pretty plain, you know, all one color other than his face and hands. Um, you know, I think it would have been cool to have like a soft goods uh, cape or robe, whatever, um, with the original release. But, you know, this is what we got. So the retro one is going to look just like it. So I can't complain about anything with this figure. Um, it looks just like the original. It comes with his cane. So all in all, looking pretty good for what it's, what it's worth. Set him up. So next up we have everybody's favorite smuggler, Han Solo, in his Endor trench coat. And this is probably my favorite look for Han, um, both figure and uh, card back. It's to his Endor look. So we'll crack him open as well. All right, here's Han out of package. Trench coat's got a pretty nice uh, <laughs> little collar here, um, but it does look it does look nice. I like the camo design. And this blaster. So it does. Eh, he's having a little difficulty holding it. Let's see if I can get it in there. So, all right, we can get it in there. Okay. Now this figure, I don't have loose of the vintage, um, but I do actually have a carded one. So when we compare it side by side, I'll try to get it close. So I mean, obviously, I know there are different versions of you know the the face and all that just from the originals, um, but a little bit off, kinda. But you know, not not all that much to complain about. Um, so yeah, this is one of my favorite pieces. I have this on card, just the vintage. So. Fun to get it where I actually have it open now, um, because it is not one that I have an original one that is open. So I'm gonna get his robe off to see how his outfit looks underneath. Yeah. It looks good. He's got his holster and his uh, his vest. So another another good figure. I like that. Um, I like the Endor figures probably the best. Um, so I'm very happy that uh, they chose this version of Han to add to the collection. So, all right. Next up, Spiker Scout, and then we'll get to Luke Jedi. Um, I know everyone's waiting for that one. So. Do the biker scout, um, and again, this is probably one of my favorite looks for just the uh, you know imperial kind of um, soldiers. You know, I, obviously, I love snow troopers, I love stormtroopers, but the biker scouts, something about their helmet, I just think looks really sharp. So, go ahead and open him up. All right, here's the biker scout. Looks really nice, and his little blaster or pistol, whatever this is. I, I like this gun, and I actually loved the scene from The Mandalorian where the biker scouts were trying to shoot the piece of garbage on the ground with these little guns, and they just couldn't hit it for the life of them. But um, so you know, this one will be a fun figure to have with our Mandalorian retro collection figures as well. So. I've been waiting for this figure for a long time. Um, you know, it's now it can kind of transition into multiple generations of Star Wars. So definitely pumped to get this guy in the line. He looks good. All right. So last but not least, of course, the Jedi Knight Luke Skywalker. So this one, um, he does come with his green saber. Um, the original run, I think, initially started with a blue saber, and then they quickly updated it. So I, I believe the blue saber ones are a little more valuable, more sought after, harder to find. Um, but again, I, I love this card back of Luke. You get a lot of the uh, Jabba's aliens in the background, so pretty cool there. And this is one other one. Again, I'm a big uh, Return of the Jedi guy um, that I do have an original vintage on card. Um, so obviously the big change here is that my original has the painted face. This one has the molded face with painted hair. So huge update there. It's not going to scuff off as easily. 
but otherwise this figure looks pretty much uh, spot on. I was going to say the green color of the saber might be a little different, but um, we'll have to get it out and see. So we'll open him up. All right, here is Luke out of package. Um, so face looks really good. Um, you know, this was an obvious update that they were going to do for this line, um, not having the painted face, um, but it just looks really good. So I like the all black. Um, I'll go ahead and get the hood on. So this one's kind of nice. It just goes over his head. You don't have to really worry about the um, about any arms or anything like that. So hood on it. It fits okay. There's maybe a little space up top there. Um, you know, it's resting on the shoulders here, and um, yeah, so it has a little bit of a gap on top, but overall not too bad. So and then he comes with uh, a blaster and his, uh, you know, of course, his lightsaber. So, so if he holds that okay, it's sticking all right. And the green blade. So I do think the green is maybe a little more vibrant, a little brighter green than like the original. Um, but again, I like when they make little changes, just kind of subtle changes like that, just to not um, confuse uh, collectors on which, what's authentic, what's a retro collection, what's old, you know, vintage. So I'm fine if the colors are off. The color of the blaster may be off as well, for all I know. So um, this figure is awesome. Looks great. Uh, and again, you know, another character that we can kind of set up with our Mando um, collection of these figures as well so um, I'm loving it all in all a really nice wave um, now I do think that they have now set a precedent for the retro collection having some offshoots of each wave we got the bounty hunters for Empire Strikes Back so now I am fully expecting to get some Jabba Sail Barge um, aliens, maybe some skiff guards, having some Amazon exclusives of those, some two packs, as well as maybe some Ewoks, maybe an Endor Leia um, with Wicket, and then maybe a, a you know a two pack of a couple other Ewoks as well. So um, I think they could definitely take this some cool directions for um, you know Return of the Jedi, just like they have with the Empire Strikes Back. So I'm excited to see what they do with it. Um, you know, and of course we're getting some other waves this year. It looks like they're ramping up how many full waves we're getting per year for the retro collection. So I'm excited to see this brand grow. Um, these are probably my favorite out of black series and vintage collection and retro collection. I'm, I'm going to take retro collection all day long. So I enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys think. Please make sure to subscribe to the channel. We're trying to grow. Um, and it helps if you've been watching some of these videos, go ahead and click subscribe and follow along for all of our toy reviews. Um, you know, leave a comment, let us know what your favorite figure is in this line or what, what other figures you'd like to see from Return of the Jedi. And of course, as always, make sure to like the video. Thanks, and may the Force be with you.